Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio for the month of January 2020. Happy New Year. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, January, keep in mind that this reading may or may not be for you. Not every reading is for you, so take what resonates and leave the rest. These readings can go vice versa as well, so... You know, maybe for you, it may be for the cross watcher. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, the timing is fluid as well. So it may not resonate the day that you watch it. Let's see what we got for Scorpio for the month of January. What do we have for Scorpio? Ooh, Ten of Swords reverse. That's liberation. That's freedom. Freedom from a stressful situation that just about killed you. That is getting away from it. Finally getting out of it. Okay, so that's freedom. I just happened to it for some reason. I, I don't know why. So this is recovery, healing, um, almost healed, right where you need to be or needing to heal. There's been a heartbreaking situation, something that literally just about killed you. It probably made you feel like your heart had been ripped out. Again, this could go vice versa. This is seeing now that there's another opportunity ready for something else. Somebody is ready. They're ready for love. Uh, done focusing on the pain. Done focusing on the hurt. Really done a lot of healing here. Somebody has done a lot of healing. Um, this is interested in something else. Interested in somebody new, perhaps. Somebody new could be coming into your life. Maybe you're finally ready. Maybe you've finally done your, your healing work. Um... For some of you, this is the end of a painful situation, okay? It's like breaking free finally so that you can start the healing process, getting ready for somebody else. Um, finally interested. I think we have somebody here that's really ready, just ready. I just want to keep saying that. Eight of Wands reverse. There's been a delay. There's been a delay because somebody needed to heal. Seriously, there's a need for forgiveness. Maybe you need to forgive. You needed to put that mend, mend your broken heart. Um, there's been some sort of, uh, there's been a lack of movement. Somebody has been stuck. There's been, somebody is, was, was not communicating or not willing to communicate, not willing to open up. Somebody may have been feeling guilty. There could be some, they're feeling guilty, thinking that it was their fault that something didn't work out. But this is, a, this is a time of hope and inspiration and healing. This is a, a wish being granted. So, you know, you may have been focused on a loss for quite some time, but now you're about to have some wish be, being granted. This is a, but there's, there's been a delay in this wish being granted. There has. And the delay is because there was a broken heart that needs to be healed or needed to be healed. This is something coming to a stop. Okay, so this is a blessing. There's protection here. Somebody was protected. They may not have seen it, but there was some sort of protection. Knight of Swords. This is this is something that is going this is in a hurry. Something is going to happen in a hurry. Seriously, the night of this is fast. Somebody's going to come in really, 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 really fast. I don't know if that's a Harley. Something to do with motorcycles. This person may have a motorcycle. Somebody could show up on a motorcycle. This is running. This person is going, is running. Interesting. Five of Pentacles. It's like we have somebody here that has an opportunity to go someplace else. They have an opportunity, but they've been sulking. They've been pouting. They've been allowing themselves to be a victim. Not wanting to ask for help. Not wanting to accept help. Not wanting to go through a new doorway. So that's been a problem. That's what the problem is. We have somebody here that's been refusing to ask for help or refusing to communicate, refusing to accept that they were left behind, refusing to um, acknowledge that there's something else. 
That's what I see here with this card. It's like this person has been um, refusing, seriously refusing to accept that there's a new door waiting for them to go through it. And that's why there's been a delay. Somebody was focused on a third party for quite some time. feeling guilty like it was all their fault what can I do what can I do to fix this but the fact of the matter is if it's not meant to be it's not meant to be this is a blessing it's, a, it's really a blessing even though it hurt like hell it definitely hurt like hell somebody went through a vi or is going through something very painful that hurts like hell there could be a stop in communication somebody may have been ghosted maybe maybe a couple months before or the month before or recently because this is like no communi stop in communication no this is being abandoned being ghosted being left behind mm -hmm. a stubborn we definitely have somebody that's stubborn that has been wanting to hold on I'm going to hold on for dear life but there's 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 a holding on is not going to change things somebody is let's go back over here with this two of pentacles reversed something is going to happen really fast that is going to that is going to knock you off your feet and it's going to knock that's what i just heard it's going to knock you right off your feet whatever is going to happen and when i looked at the clock to zoom this in it was 655 so you can look up the meaning of 655 the spiritual meaning but things are going to change and they're going to change fast they're going to hit whatever whoever is rushing into your life if you are single or whatever is happening it's going to happen really, really, really fast. There's going to be a, a, a bit of chaos, though. There may be a bit of disorder. Um, because sometimes, I mean, with that star card, to get to this point, you may have to... I mean, the star is about a wish being granted, but it's not always granted in the w in the way that you pictured it. Okay. It's like the answer to your prayers. This is the answer. That's what. I, that's it. But I just heard the answer to your prayers. Your prayers are going to be answered. But it's not what you think. Again, it's not what you think. This is a lack of balance. Losing balance. Losing. Somebody that is also inflexible. Yeah, somebody has been definitely inflexible here. Unable to adapt, not willing to change, not willing to change their thoughts not, or their ways. It's like wanting to hold on to something that they held on to for as long as they could. But it's going away, okay, just so you know. This could be somebody leaving really fast. Just saying. There could be something, somebody that just decides to split. They decide to drop out of this game. So just... I mean, that could also happen. I just saw that. They just, they'd run. Because this is being ghosted as well. It's like somebody could run. Now, we have somebody here that is very, very intuitive. Highly intuitive. They may have been keeping to themselves. Waiting for the right moment. So for some of you, you may have sensed that there was going to be a change. You may know that there is a change coming. You may, you may think that somebody is going to be moving or well this could go both ways somebody could be rushing into your life or they could be rushing out okay maybe you sensed it this is somebody that is highly intuitive so however you are are intuiting this to be it's probably what's going to happen queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles is very solid she's stable she's beautiful she's uh very down to earth very grounded this person may be coming into your life or this may be part of your scenario this is somebody who is financially stable solid secure knows their value we have a very valuable individual here who is very at ease with who they are and has a lot to offer and knows it this person is just sitting here waiting 
waiting, 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 waiting for somebody that sees their value to show up. Waiting for acknowledgement by the looks of things. This Queen of Pentacles is solid and stable and beautiful. Very much in touch with the universe, with, with nature as well. This person is is very um, down to earth, okay? Uh, at ease, very uh, mellow. We have a very mellow, mellow, mellow individual here. This is a dream come true. This is the answer. This is the answer to your prayers. This is also... Um, Somebody's hard work manifesting, paying off. Somebody has manifested something as well. They've manifested a, a an arrival of some sort. Okay, whatever that is. King of Cups reversed. This is somebody who is emotionally unavailable, that is withdrawn and cold, doesn't have any love to offer. Somebody's been holding on to this person, male or female. This person is cold and withdrawn. They don't have good intentions. This person may have abandoned, because there's your abandonment right there. They may have, or they may have made a person feel like it was all their fault. That's kind of like a narcissistic trait, right? It's just one of them. Doesn't mean they're a narcissist, but it's never their fault. And they, they may have played a really good game. Maybe this person has somebody else that is that they've been playing with. Maybe they were they were just using somebody for their money. Just being honest here. This person has stability, has security, has money. This person has money. This person doesn't have good intentions and been holding on just for the money. So somebody was probably holding on to a person just for the materialistic uh, reasons. Definitely, that's what we have here. Somebody to hold. But now it's like there's going to be some sort of chaos or loss. Maybe this person had two. And maybe there was a sixth sense. Well, yeah, I think there has been two. Well, if there has, then maybe that's what the pain, where this pain is caused from. Realizing, knowing that, you know... Somebody has been secretly going someplace else. Queen of Cups reversed. This is an emotional time. The Queen of Cups reversed is deep sadness, heartbreak. Somebody that is self-loathing, jealous, uh, highly sensitive, uh, revengeful. Drowning in emotions. Uh, there's definitely two people here. Okay, there's two people here. And I think that somebody is is going to experience um, some chaos because they may catch somebody running away. They may catch somebody running away from another person's house. That's what I hear, just being honest with you. Um, there's somebody that doesn't definitely doesn't have good intentions and doesn't care who they hurt. I think that we have somebody here that is going to be dis very, very disappointed when they find out whatever is happening is happening. Somebody may have been communicating with somebody else, you know, secretly, or they've been visiting them on the fly, and they think they're getting away with it, but they get caught. Um, somebody has been interested in a new opportunity. They've been, that's what I see, and I, I, I feel like uh, you may know exactly what this is. You probably already do. Um, for some of you, Whew, I feel as though somebody has been juggling and uh, they're going to get caught. I just got to be honest with you. That's what I feel like this is. I also feel like this, this is a blessing, letting this person go. Somebody may be running away. If they are running away, let them go. Let them go. Don't hold on to them. They have somebody else. That's what I see. Ten of Swords is freedom, liberation. I feel like you guys are being broken free from a situation that has just about killed you. Okay? Really bro broken your heart. A uh, lot of heartbreak here. 
But there's another opportunity with the Four of Cups reverse that's realizing, that's seeing that there's another opportunity. And this is inner knowing as well that there's another opportunity. For so for some of you, may you may have been reluctant to believe it or reluctant to see it, but there's another opportunity. Somebody could be rushing into your life. It's an answer to your prayers. Okay? It's somebody else though. Okay, this is the answer to your prayers or a blessing in disguise. It could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I think that you guys are going to be given the chance to build something solid with somebody but you will it's going to be your choice maybe maybe you need to choose to build up your own stability maybe that's what you're choosing to do this is somebody who knows they don't need anybody i don't need anybody i'm capable i'm solid i'm stable and i'm not i'm valuable i'm not going to give it I'm not going to give my value. I'm not going to give myself away to a, somebody who doesn't love me. Because we have somebody here that doesn't reciprocate. There's a lack of love. They don't communicate very well at all. So I feel like there's, there's a new opportunity that is going to be presented to you. That could be the answer to your prayers. If you can let go of whatever it is that you are stubbornly holding on to that is not uh, communicating with you. They're, they're, they broke your heart. They're, they're not uh, giving you what you deserve. You deserve reciprocation. You deserve somebody who's going to put in equal effort. So yes, there is something that is going to be revealed this month. There's a lie or a deception or a betrayal that is going to be revealed. Could be from a Pisces, could be from a Cancer, could be from anybody. Something has been below the surface. All is not as it seems. Somebody was hiding something and the truth is about to come out. You've been sensing it. And whatever this is, you are correct. Good luck.